Hey guys, how's it going? I've had a lot of questions from a lot of people about what my setup on my communications, um, my GoPro, how I'm getting the graphics um, to come up on the screen, and also uh, just my general setup and what I'm using um, while I'm in the plane. Uh, so everyone can hear communications and see what I'm doing. Um, the best sound basically is running through of course the Bose headset um, it's just really crisp and clear whenever you add a communications cable to it um, it's a great headset of course it's also the most expensive but that I've seen but it does really uh, make a nice crisp clean sound and whenever you run a pass-through like a communications cable to a GoPro the speech is still really clear you don't get a lot of back feed um, it's just a nice nice crisp crisp sound so I'm going to show you how I set this up so what I've been using because it's a rental plane um, I don't own my own plane yet I don't know when but I would like to someday but this is the first piece I bought this piece right here this is what I use to hook it up to the planes because the, the place that I get my plane that I the school doesn't allow me to attach anything to the plane itself so I have this and I have this clip this is a heavy-duty clip it's made by GoPro and basically it's 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 good enough that whenever you you have to use some force to open it what I like to do is I clip that right behind the seat on the plane right back here just like that and then this piece basically hooks in to that and that's where you so now you put that rotate it you put that on the seat of the plane and that does swivel right and then your GoPro this is the GoPro 9 right here you can get the 10 that's the 9 hero or the 10 hero um, I'll talk more about that later about how we get the stickers to show up the airspeed the altitude the the, the maps um, the, the g-force indicator how we get that to show up on the videos um, as well so this will hook up on here you run this through here you tighten it on this little screw they have right here it sits in this little this little pod keep in mind these are separate pieces they don't come with the GoPro so you got to buy them extra the GoPro itself I think was like 350 bucks the GoPro, the GoPro 9. They have a GoPro 10. I think it's a little more. I think it's closer to 500. Um, but I decided to get this one, and it's worked fine for what I needed it for so far. I'd like to get a separate, a, sep a couple separate smaller cams, maybe to go somewhere else in the plane to get a different view. But as of now, this has worked really well. So if you look back right now, you can see that's sitting right over my shoulder, um, and that's without attaching anywhere permanently on the plane. Um, right here I'm using my phone to record this normally I'd be using the GoPro um, so now the second step that you guys have been asking about is how am I hooking up the GoPro and getting sound through my, Go my GoPro to the plane <laughs> um, so there's a cable and it's made by it's made by night sorry guys My phone. there's a cable made by um, night flight cam right here night flight cam and I got this cable this cable was about 
I say $150. Um, and what this does is this hooks into the GoPro. That's like a micro C. And this goes into the plane, this piece. And you'll see it has a secondary piece with it. It kind of wise off. This piece hooks into your headset cable. And this piece hooks into the plane. So you, have, you still have two pieces that go into the plane. And then you have one piece here that goes to the GoPro. So you take... I got a super long one. I got so that I have plenty of cord. The reason being is I don't. I want plenty of cord because I put the I put the cable back around the chair in the plane, and then you're gonna hook it up right in to the side of the GoPro like this, right? Now you can see I have my audio cable plugged in and then here's the excess cable right here. I usually roll that up I have a little t zip tie and I'll zip tie it really tight maybe to the uh, the plane I'm flying in is uh, Skyhawk 172. Um, it has a little ashtray next to it and I just kind of zip tie the excess onto the uh, ashtray. But the reason why I got so much cord is that way I can put it anywhere into the plane that I want to I want to move it to if I, I can, it'll still get sound. Um, the other end of it, of course, is my Bose headset. You know, and like I said, you'll see that you still have two cables to plug in to the plane, and the other one runs to the headset, and then the other one runs to the camera. That being said, this whole setup, um, it wasn't cheap, so the I'd say the total cost between the headset, I mean, you could use other headsets, but I just, you know, it, these bows are so nice, and uh, nice, clean audio, like I said. Um, I don't hear hardly any back feed in any of the videos whenever I get down with it with the comm cable hooked up to them, and uh, so... The Bose headset, the GoPro, not the Hero, the Com cable, um, you're looking at probably close to $1,800. Um, that being the Com cable, $150, the GoPro, $350, the, the attachments, another $80 or $90, uh, $1,200 for the headset. Um, I think that's $1,800 or close to that. Um, but there you have it. I've been just getting a lot of a lot of people asking me about what I'm using and how I'm doing it. Uh, in this next video I put out it's going to be how to add sticker how to add stickers to your videos um, for altitude and um, altitude GPS and uh, G force uh, miles per hour. Um, I'll put that out in the next video. Uh, subscribe if you have a chance. Uh, hit the like button. Show some support to the page. Um, feel free to uh, criticize any of my flight videos that I have posted already. Um, I, I'm learning to fly, and uh, criticism's always, always. I'm always open to criticism because, uh, as you should be, as you're trying to become a pilot. Um, check out some of my videos if you're just starting to fly, entering Class D airspace. There's um, some other ones like my first solo flight out of the pattern. Um, you might, you might. There's a good, a nice view of the cockpit of a run up on a Cessna 172. You could possibly armchair fly off, maybe just some of the video. But I'll be posting more content, and more videos as I move along in the process. Right now, I'm around 44 hours, oh, 40 ish hours. I have to look at my logbook of flight time. Um, I'm out of the pattern solo and I'm working on solo cross country. So um, hit the like button, smash it, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave some comments. Uh, have a good day and I hope this helps you guys out.